Hi, my name is Corey Smith, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can charge up to six batteries all at the same time. So before we get started, I just want to let you know that this is not a tutorial on how to charge a LiPo battery or battery safety, so you, you need to make sure you know those things before you do this. So for this tutorial, you're going to need four things. Obviously a charger, a charger adapter, a parallel charger, and obviously batteries. So the first thing that we're going to do is plug in the charger, then we're going to take our adapter, which has an XT60 connector on it, and plug that into the charger, making sure that you have the polarity correct. Then we're going to take the adapter and plug that into the parallel charging board. Once that's done, we can hook up the balancing port, and that will be the last thing we need to connect other than the batteries. One thing that I found with my parallel charging board is that the actual balance wires were falling out of the balance connector when I first got it. So you should definitely check and make sure everything's plugged in properly before you plug in your batteries. So looking at this charging port, it looks like a lot of stuff to try to figure out what to do with, but it's really not that bad. You have your main balancing ports, and then you have your XT60 connectors, which is what the batteries charge with. If you look closely, there's little tiny markings on the board that say 2S, 3S, 4S, 5S, 6S. So today, since I'm using a 3-cell battery, I'm going to be using the 3S port. The most important thing about this particular charging board that you might not realize at first is that the balance connectors go in two separate directions, but I'll talk more about that later. So now that we have everything set up properly, we can start by plugging in the first battery and then we're going to plug in the balance connector. Then we're going to plug in the second battery the exact same way as before, but this time when we plug in the balance connector, we need to reverse the balance connector so that it's upside down when we plug it in. So like I said before, the balance connectors run in two separate directions, so if you look right here, you'll see that the red wires are facing inward and the black ones are facing outward. So how exactly does this work? Well, if you look at this diagram I made, you'll see that there's two batteries connected up. There's the balancing and then there's the charging wires. If, for example, we look at cell 3 on battery 1, you'll see that it's also connected to cell 3 on battery 2. Because these two cells are connected, they're basically acting as one cell. So if one cell is a higher voltage than the other, they'll try to balance each other out. So since all of the cells on battery 2, 3, 4, etc. are all trying to be clones of each other, the charger really doesn't care how many batteries you use, since it's basically just acting as one big 3-cell battery. The only problem with parallel charging is that you can't charge different types of batteries at the same time, so the batteries have to have the same cell count and the same capacity. Also, you should never charge a battery that's halfway or fully charged with a battery that's completely dead, otherwise your balance connectors could melt. So now I'm just going to be plugging in the remaining batteries, and while I'm doing that, I just want to point out that it doesn't matter if, for example, your right battery is plugged into your top XT60 port or your bottom port, because literally they're all connected together in parallel, which means they're exactly the same. So now we can actually start charging all the batteries, and to do this, we need to take this 1.6 number and then do a little bit of math. The way that we do this is by taking this 1.6 number, or 1.6 amp hours, and we take that times 4, and then we get 6.4. So we should charge at 6.4 amps, but I can't do that, so I'm going to be charging at 4 amps instead, which will basically mean that we'll be charging at 1 amp per battery. So obviously if your charger is able to charge at the proper amperage that you calculated, that's fine, but if it can't, that's also fine because then your charger will just be charging at a lower amperage, which will be better for the charger and the batteries over time. So now that we've got everything hooked up properly, we make sure that the battery is set to LiPo balance. It's charging at 4 amps, 11.1 .1 volts. We can finally press enter, hit confirm, and then we are done. We are now charging and everything's perfect. All the batteries will be charged at the same voltage and all the cells will be nice and balanced out. So now, the next time you have to charge up four batteries, instead of it taking five hours, it might only take an hour and 20 minutes. So like always, if you like this video, you can subscribe. If you have any questions, you can also leave a comment in this video or on my website, myfirstdrone.com, and I will see you in another video.